guys, we just got up to the machine shop where the um, the block and the head are. Uh, block got poured out to accept what 33 millimeter pistons up from 32 and a half. Just a little bit of a bore, and uh, got the head ported, intake and exhaust. Um, yeah, so we're here. I brought up the main bearings and some hardware, rear, rear main seal. Um, a couple other things, but I'm gonna assemble the bottom end here with the shop. They offered to like assemble it for me, and I was like, I don't really want to do that because I want to learn. And since they have the tools to cut rings and do the valves and all that, so they put they put the valve springs in for me and the new retainers and uh, what retainers guides, all that stuff, all the top end stuffs in. No, I'm about to go in here. I had already dropped off the new pistons, rods, um, what else, wrist pins, all, all that stuff. So uh, I had to bring up the bearings. They got crank bearings. I got OEM mains, went with Mali, um, rod bearings. So we're gonna go in here, assemble this. I'm gonna take as many pictures as I can. I can't record in here because of insurance stuff, kind of sucks. But I figured this is the best opportunity for me personally to learn um, how to do things you know i don't have the tool to compress the rings to get the pistons in i don't i don't know any of that i'm gonna see if i can get the uh, apr a apr arp studs put in the block as well while i'm here um like i said in the remain seal i just want to learn like for my own self and i can relay some of that information to you guys uh better than just me like winging it in the garage by myself and potentially causing a fatal error so this doing this with the shop takes a lot of stress off of me and then the next big hurdle will be getting all the timing right and obviously I mean just putting the cams in timing chains and all that that's what's gonna stress me out the most um, after this so get this knocked out I'm super excited we drove um, this is since last night here in the Jeep mind you we're going up and down mountains and highways traffic this and that but nine hours and 30 minutes of driving uh, to finally get me here. It didn't take me if I would have drove straight here It obviously wouldn't take me that long, but that's uh, that's where we're at there <sighs> Say hi Jess hey. All right, well, I'm gonna change I brought my coveralls and steel toes and Get in here and start wrenching. I think I'm gonna go to the casino to celebrate <laughs> things first up put that rear main seal on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so I'm pretty sure I left this video off oh no when we put the block on the table so box on the table I'm gonna unwrap it real quick show you guys the block close up uh, pull the head out show you guys the close up with the head and stuff um, I'm really really glad I hung out at the shop and did the bottom end there like I said I couldn't record because of insurance stuff but I got a ton of pictures they should be popping up right here um, it's like a bunch of little neat tricks and how to do the piston rings and, and this that and the third bearings and things to look out for putting some sealing on the bolts to go into the side of the block for the 
um, caps for the crank and just all types of things. Like really, really glad. I'm sorry I didn't, I couldn't record it or do it at home. Um, it was more beneficial to me to be taught by someone who's built hundreds, if not thousands, of motors before. So that was kind of a, what's I don't know the word, just a really good experience for me. So today, um, well. You guys aren't going to see it in this video, so it doesn't matter. Let me pull this stuff out and give you guys some close-ups. again there's a uh, like this plastic sleeve that's for the what's it called balance, one of the balance shafts require it so I had to order that I pulled this one out the other day or when we were at the machine shop so I could actually take a look at it and uh, it didn't look good so one more thing I had to order the a, the AC delete bracket should be here today injector should be back in about a week um, the downpipe and valve cover is getting dropped off tomorrow. It should also be about a week. And uh, really, the only thing I'm really, really missing right now is fluids. They need to get flu break in fluid for the motor, uh, fluid for the trans. I already got Haldex and diff fluids. Um, I'm going to redo the Haldex fluid. My toe looks good on the back now. Just those. Need to raise up the front coilovers a little bit. But yeah, we're making progress here, boys. I'm hoping just a couple more weeks. Motor and trains will be in. Um, I need to send an email out to EQT, see if I can like, try and schedule some tuning here sooner. I mean, I gotta put at least 500, maybe more miles on this thing before we can start tuning or whatever. But it'll be a lot of fluid changes, a lot of filter changes, but all types of things. Are new. I'm all for it. So, let's get you guys over here. And there really isn't a whole lot to see. Uh, some shiny metal pieces. But, uh, I think you can, you can rotate it pretty decently until the pistons get towards the weight top. But, this thing is just dope. Like, it show me all these little things and stuff and just, ah, yeah. I also ordered some tools today. I ordered that crazy crank uh, counter hold tool I figured I'd need. And then uh, my buddy Clifton let me borrow, I believe it's this kit, yeah, the cam locking set. So I bought one of my own that also comes with some like holder pieces for the, uh, what's it called, the tensioners and a couple other things in it. That was like 30 bucks. The other kit was like 100 bucks. So I got some tools so I won't need to borrow from people. Got that stuff coming. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of dirt. But let me show you guys. Get a closer up. Like I said, there really ain't much to see. Other than everything shiny and it's got assembly lube on it. <laughs> the box nice and clean. I've never seen this thing so clean in my life. Super excited. Um, let me flip this upside down. You guys can see the pistons. Mm -hmm. Here we go. IE 30 or 38. Uh, 83 millimeter pistons all in looking good 
Man, I'm so excited for this. You guys really have no idea. A lot of you guys have been messaging me and commenting on the post and all that, saying how excited you are, but I don't think there's anybody out there more excited than I am. So, the other thing I'm worried about is this seal right here. Um, I don't remember if I got one in the kit or not. I need to look. There's like a special tool for it. They make it seem. I think I can just use a socket and hammer it in there, but there's also some bearings like right behind that. So to get this seal out, I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to knock it out from behind. I'm gonna have to get like a little puller in there that expands to like grab it and pull it out or something. If I do have it. It says to replace this every time and some other things, but I have to ask ask the boys, whatever. They were paying me for 80,000 miles. I should probably literally replace everything, but we'll see. So there's that. Let me push this over, make room, we'll pull the head out. Give that a look. The porting job on that thing is gorgeous. All right, so a lot of you guys, I'm sure, have been waiting to see all this. Um, real nice port job there. Performance porting, um, right outside Denver, Colorado. Look at that. I wish my camera would look. Focus right with the light. What are you doing here? Come on. Anyway, you guys can see. Port it out real nice. Nice and clean. Um, we'll flip it. And these are still the OE valves. You can see, if you guys remember how nasty they looked before, um, they definitely cleaned up nice. Everything got cut and measured and looked at, resurfaced. Need to uh, just go over this with some cleaner before we put it on, but everything looks really, really good. There, they didn't do too, too much on the exhaust. I'll show you that. Yeah, you can kind of see some of the port there. There's not all that much you can do with these kind of you know, exhaust. Where are we out here? Down light, you can see. Down there you can actually see some of the valves. But this whole thing got basically gasket matched. I'm not sure you guys when that time comes, but I was thinking, I don't know if this will already be done by now. Maybe taking this. I think they went over this. I made sure it was flat, but taking the turbo to a machine shop and making sure that um, mating surface to this is flat as well, just to make sure we're not gonna have like any imperfections when it goes up against the gasket. Um, I'm gonna get, know if you guys have done that or if I should do that, I probably should. If I have to ask, I probably should, you know. But uh, let's move here to the top side where you can see all the new valve springs. So we got new valve, um, Guides, no, we use the OEM seats, um, new retainers, new springs. Get down in there on these bolts and change the kind of light we're using. There we go. These babies should be able to hold up to uh, the 8,000 RPMs I plan on spinning or two. That's probably what I'm most excited about in this whole thing. And they said, now because the head's ported and stuff, and I got bigger pistons, the motor's not gonna sound the same as it did. It should sound like more, like a lower tone, like not so, not as high. So it should uh, have a nice growl to it. Really, really excited to hear that. Um, plus, new turbo blanket, we're gonna have the downpipe coated, all the extra weight out of the car. And I said this damn hatch, I've been saying it for six months now, this hatch should be here any day. Last I heard, it was about to get off the boat in California somewhere. And I got a buddy whose hood, I think, is in the same shipment. So hopefully both of our stuff come at the same time. Like, I'm almost ready to put in an order for a vented hood and fenders. Because like, um, they're not going to show up till freaking, what, at this point, probably like August, September. So uh, I probably can't even order them. I might move again before then. So uh. anyway, there's the... Two things we've been waiting the most on today. I'm gonna to get this rear main seal on uh, and then get her back on the stand. Uh, get the APR or ARP studs in. And uh, what else did I say, rear main? That's like the three things I wanna get on today. On the stand, rear main, studs in, maybe the lower oil pan or upper oil pan, I mean. Uh, get that in and uh, oil pump. Um, and then from there, we'll put the head on and start doing timing stuff. I can't do all the timing stuff till I get, oh, there's this little plastic thing I was telling you guys about. Right here, I kind of have it sitting out. This thing needs to get replaced. You can see here. There we go. You can kind of see where it's like messed up there. Like deformed. So, 
Don't want to risk breaking this off in there. It's like a guide for the... I think it's the exhaust. Anyway, I don't need to go in the trash and a new one bought, so... Well. Alright, well, that's all I got for this video. I got parts from ECS, I think, coming today for the sway bar, so I need to drill out the, the old sway bar brackets. Um, I'm looking out for that. Actually, that should be in the video before that. Or before this. See, I'm making like multiple videos at once to try and streamline things. I want to get ahead on like videos by like five or six videos and then start dropping them and then you guys can watch those and then by the time you catch up, I should be almost real time, like a week week ahead of the video drops, which is about what I normally am. That way we can get through all the suspension tuning, the engine tuning, the road tuning, the, the tuning, everything, the whole car. Suspension, motor, trans, just getting everything exactly how I want it. Um, so I gotta put a bunch of braking miles. There's just so many things, so many things. I need to find airbag deletes for the seats. I need to find all types of things. There's, it's kind of stressful. It's exciting. I'll be happy when this is done. Not, well, obviously because I want to drive and race and show it off, but because it's just, it's just so stressful. It's like trying to keep track of so many different things at the same time. It's not not great for someone with ADD. <laughs> My head's all over the place, but all right. I need to wrap this, speaking of that, I need to wrap this head back up, put it back in the box, and uh, get to work. So thanks for watching. Look out for the next one. Um, shirt should be out by now. Hit the link down below for the website. The Instagram, um, the companies I buy shit from, Paul shopped that once again, always coming in clutch for me. Um, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip flop.